hello guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here hello you're welcome please don't forget to subscribe before you go and turn on the bell as well thank you so much so in my last update about this is fate shailene manipulated her way into making the luthras and the court believe her that she is innocent and at the end karan was released and karina praises shailene for karan's release taking all the glory and all the effort of Brita. that was our last update let's continue from there Sarala says that she knows that she is not feeling fine, but she has already taken the medicine that the doctor prescribed for her. And if they go to the hospital now, then the doctor will prescribe the same medicine and then they will be wasting money. Shruti says that the money is not important than Sarala, so they have to go to the doctor. Shruti explains that when she is worried, then she goes for shopping. So if Sarala doesn't want her to waste her money on shopping, then Sarala should come with her to the hospital. Saula agrees with Shruti, saying that it is better to go to the doctor, otherwise Shruti would waste the money on shopping. Shruti says that she would accept and she would not even tell Prita, and Shruti even asks Janki not to say anything to anyone, and Janki asks them to go while she will prepare the lunch. Shailene enters her room and she feels pain, so she immediately calls for an appointment at the city hospital so that a checkup can be performed on her. Shruti and Sala go to the hospital and Shruti asks for the doctor, explaining that they have an appointment for her mother. The receptionist asks for the name of her mother. Sala immediately says her name and they were pointed towards the reception. But Sala started scolding the receptionist, asking that who does she think that she is, because no one really knows them and they are not a superstar. So they have to say their name before they see the doctor, even though they are the indigene of the town. Shruti says that she is not that small and Sala leans against the pillar because she was feeling dizzy and she was about to fall. Shruti asks the nurse to bring the witcher but Sala refused explaining that she will feel better when Shruti keeps on talking with her and they move towards the doctor's office. Shailene has a foul in her hand and she calls someone. Prithvi was in his office and he get a call from someone but he refused to pick it and he started scolding his workers saying that they are good for nothing because his company is constantly suffering losses. Shailene calls Prithvi but Prithvi ends the call and Shailene once again calls Prithvi and Prithvi answers the call and says that Shailene should have stopped calling him after dialing his number several times. Shailene says that she needs Prithvi right now but Prithvi says that it is only his business that needs him right now. Shailene however explains that she is not feeling well and Prithvi was shocked and he asks if Shailene is suffering from pain and Shailene asks Prithvi to meet her at the reception of the city hospital. Shruti and Sala were with the doctor and the doctor advised Sala to perform some tests as soon as possible. Prita enters the doctor's office greeting the doctor and Prita asks the doctor to speed up the process. Sala scolds Shruti asking that why did Shruti call Prita but Prita says that Shruti was right to call her and the doctor asks Prita to go to the first floor for Sala's test. Shailene and Prithvi enters the same hospital and Prithvi says that if Shailene is already feeling well then they should go back and come when Shailene is suffering from pain. Shailene responds that why does Prithvi want her to suffer for pain and she would have the checkup done now since they have come to the hospital. Shailene says that she has an appointment and the nurse asks for the name of the patient. Then Shailene says that since she is pregnant then she will be the patient. The nurse says that the normal doctor is off duty so they can consult with the consultation doctor who is Roshni Desai. Prithvi was shocked and Shailen remembers that Roshni Desai was Prithvi's ex-girlfriend, but Prithvi tries to disagree, saying that Roshni was not so clever, so she cannot be a doctor, and he feels that Roshni would have gotten married and have some children by now. But Shailen asks that how does Prithvi know all this, and Prithvi tries to calm Shailen down, but Shailen leaves. Shruti was really worried, asking Prita if she doesn't feel that they are stressing her, and she feels sorry to stress Prita. Prita asks that why is Shruti thinking like this because they are both sisters and they will care for their mother together. Shailene was following Prithvi and Shailene asks Prithvi to slow down because she might get the pain again if Prithvi doesn't slow down and Prithvi asks Shailene not to worry because he would always be there with her. Prita was trying to calm Shruti down and Prithvi and Shailene were also walking towards where Prita and Shruti were but they were not able to cross paths. Shruti asks Shailene to go inside the doctor's office while he will wait outside because he has some call to attend to. And Shailene was worried, but Prithvi assures Shailene that he would always be there for her. Shailene enters the doctor's office and Dr. Roshni was happy to see Shailene and she asks her to sit. Shailene congratulates Roshni on becoming the doctor and Roshni also congratulates Shailene for being pregnant, saying that she knows who the real father of the child will be. 
Sherlin was worried and Roshni asked if Prithvi is fair with Sherlin because she feels that Sherlin's life may not be the way she desired. Sherlin explains that her life is actually the way she planned it and Sherlin says that she will bring her husband. Shreti sitting with Prita explains that she feels that ever since Prita got married, she is not able to fulfill any of the responsibility because whenever there is a problem, she always calls Prita which is not right and she is not able to solve any of the problem. But Prita asks Shriti not to feel bad because Shriti is only calling her sister and not a stranger. Shriti sees Prithvi walking to the doctor's office and Shriti explains to Prita that she saw Prithvi and both Shriti and Prita decided to walk to the doctor's office to find out the truth. Sherlin walks in with Prithvi and Prithvi was shocked to see Roshni, his ex-girlfriend, as the doctor. Prithvi greets Roshni with a smile, saying that he has never thought that Roshni will become a doctor and he is happy for her. Sherlin started getting jealous and Roshni offered them to drink, but Sherlin refused the drink and Prithvi accepted the offer. Then Prithvi and Sherlin started quarreling. Roshni takes Sherlin to another room and Roshni during the checkup asks Sherlin that where does she feel pain and Roshni asks if there is any problem between Sherlin and Prithvi. But Sherlin gets angry and goes out and asks Prithvi to come with her. But Prithvi makes Sherlin realize that she needs to have a thorough checkup and Sherlin goes back inside and Roshni thanks Prithvi. Prita and Shriti both closes the door and Prithvi was worried thinking if someone has already started checking on them. Prithvi was looking at his phone and Sherlin thanks him before leaving. Prita and Shriti close the door and Prithvi worries if someone is watching him. As both Prita and Shriti were standing, the ward boy comes there asking them to come because they are done with the checkup of their mother, so they are both called to the office. Roshni was trying to perform the checkup on Sherlin, and Sherlin asked that how did Roshni become a doctor. Roshni advised Sherlin to move on because she has married someone else, but Sherlin is still living in the past. Sherlin sits explaining that she has moved on, but she asks Roshni about her degree because they all know that Roshni was not at all a brilliant student while in school. Roshni advised Shelly not to worry about the past and focus on her child and she needs to rest. Shelly says that why is Roshni not answering her question but giving her lecture instead. Roshni replies that it is because she feels that Shelly has said a lot about their past and she is a doctor while Shelly is a patient so she have to act accordingly. Shelly stands up saying that Roshni doesn't want to talk about the past because Roshni has accepted that she has lost because she knows that she Shelly is the best. Roshni asks Sherlin that why is she not talking maturely and she is convinced that Sherlin is jealous so she is advising Sherlin to appoint some other gynecologist and Sherlin leaves there without even taking the medicine. Sala was talking with Janki on the phone and Prita and Shriti comes there. Shriti asks Sala if they can wait for an hour because then they will be able to get the report but Sala says that then a mango pickle will not remain fresh and they have to go home now and both Prita and Shriti were worried. Sala explains that she asked Janki to place the dried mangoes in the kitchen, but Janki touched the mango with her wet hand, so now the mango will get spoiled, so she has to get home before anything happens. Prita and Shriti were smiling, and Sala asked that why were they smiling. Both Prita and Shriti explain that it is because Sala sometimes act like a child. Shriti agrees to accompany Sala home while Prita will bring the report, but Sala stops Shriti and says that Shriti must stay with Prita because Shriti was the one that called Prita to the hospital. Prita asks Sala to take the car so that she will feel okay, but Sala says that she will take the tricycle. And before leaving, Sala says that she wants Shriti to come back home as soon as possible. After Sala leaves, Shriti says to Prita that now she will be scolded when she returns home, and Shriti tells Prita not to be worried if she sees her face swell up and she should know that it is because of Sala. Prita tells Shriti and says that Shriti's face swelling up will look nice on Shriti. Prita, however, thinks that she needs to hurry up because Raki will be alone in the house preparing everything for the function of Shelly's baby shower. Raki was on the phone instructing them to hurry up and Karina comes there and asks that why did Raki unlock the big room. Raki says that she opened the room for Rishab and Shelly along with their new child and she is getting the room repainted and she would also have a new interior for the room and she has already called the interior decorator. Raki leaves the place saying that she has a lot of work to do. Karina smiles thinking that she is also really happy and she has a lot of plan to spoil Sherlin's baby. At the hospital, Sherlin walks into the waiting room demanding Prithvi to come with her and Prithvi asks that what has happened. Roshni also comes out and advises Prithvi to consult some other gynecologist. 
Rifi asks that what has happened. Shelley replies that it is jealousy because Roshni cannot stand that they are together, so Roshni is jealous. Roshni asks Shelley to grow up, but Shelley says that Roshni should not act so innocent because Roshni said it herself in the other room. Roshni says that she said those things to Shelley to calm her down because she is pregnant and she feels that Shelley is really insecure because of Prithvi and Prithvi must really take care of Shelley. Shailene wanted to leave and she says that if Prithvi wants to stay with Roshni and talk with her, then Prithvi can and Shailene leaves. Then Roshni clears it that she doesn't have any feelings for Prithvi. Prithvi also says that he has also moved on in his life and he has three women in his life presently. Prita and Shriti were working and they were caught by the word boy who gave them the report of Sala and they were not able to see Prithvi and Shailene working together behind them. Rita and Shriti walks into Dr. Roshni's office and Dr. Roshni's assistant was documenting Shailene's report. Prita asks the assistant if some visitor came to meet Dr. Roshni and the assistant says that the visitors are not allowed, so Dr. Roshni checked the couple instead. Shriti asks if the lady was pregnant and the assistant says yes and Shriti and Prita can meet the couple at the reception. Prita and Shriti were standing beside the elevator and Shriti says that they were not able to catch Prithvi and Shailene also knows how to find her way. Prita sees both Shailene and Prithvi walking towards them and Prita was shocked and both Prita and Shriti yes Prithvi consoling Shailene, assuring her that it would always be his only love. Shriti says that why was Prita shocked and she has always known that Prithvi and Shailene are good for nothing and she will not even follow Shailene because Shailene can change the idea so they have to go and get proof against Shailene. Prita along with Shriti once again goes to Dr. Roshni's office and they request Dr. Roshni's assistant to give them Shailene's file but the assistants refuse and Roshni also comes there asking that what is happening. Prita tries to talk to Dr. Roshni saying that Dr. Roshni must please give them Shailene's file otherwise it will create a lot of problem for them but Dr. Roshni refused and Prita pleaded with Dr. Roshni saying that she should give them the file because it will create a lot of problem for them if they did not get the file. Prita says that if Dr. Roshni helps them, then they will be able to save Kritika who is about to get married to Prithvi and Roshni was worried. Shriti explains to Dr. Roshni that Shailene is deceiving her husband Rishab but Dr. Roshni says that it cannot happen because she knows Prithvi and Shailene from the college so she knows that Shailene is loyal and Shriti and Prita were worried and they asked that what is Dr. Roshni talking about. Dr. Roshni replies that Shailene cannot deceive Prithvi and Dr. Roshni was shocked after Prita tells her that Shailene did not marry Prithvi and Shailene is the wife of Risha Blutra. Prita convinced Roshni by saying that if she doesn't help them, then Shailene's unborn baby will not be able to know his real identity and Dr. Roshni agrees to help Prita. Shailene enters the Lutra mansion while holding Prithvi's hand and Prithvi stops and pulls Shailene's hand away. Prithvi tries to explain that they cannot enter the Lutra mansion together because it would create a lot of problems but Shailene doesn't seem to care saying that she only wants to be with Prithvi under any circumstance and Prithvi however convinced Shailene and Shailene leaves and gives Prithvi a foul. Raki was showing all the jewelry that she has bought for Shailene and Raki sees Shailene standing and Raki asks Shailene to come and sit down saying that she bought all the jewelry for her because Shailene has done something that was really difficult and Shailene saved Karan with her own effort by meeting Mega when she told them that she was going for a doctor's appointment. Raki explains that she would have given Shailene another jewelry if Shailene had asked her for it but Shailene stole her jewelry but she is not angry with Shailene and she has forgiven her because she now knows why Shailene stole the jewelry. Shailene refused to take the other jewelries but Grandma assures Shailene that Shailene must not worry because it is just a gift and it is not the gift that they will give her during the function. Raki and Grandma says that they are really excited because of the child that Shailene is going to give birth to and they have even thought of a name for the child and Shailene was looking at the jewelry. Mayra was standing at a corner and she was jealous after seeing everything that Shailene was getting and she says to herself that both Grandma and Raki would have been her mother-in-law and great mother-in-law but Prita has snatched everything from her otherwise she would have also been a good daughter-in-law of the Lutra house. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching till the end and if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share it and I will see you all again in my next video. Bye guys.